One year on a breezy Christmas Eve, Santa Claus made himself ready to leave. One of his reindeers must have caught a cold during the day. He saw the bright red nose, but it insisted on leading the sleigh. So they took off, and the bearded man looked on a letter which got wet from the snow. Then quickly put it back in his pocket to settle the matter while shouting ho ho ho. There was a unique wish on the list he had not seen anymore in all those years. Not fulfilling it surely would bring either him, the boy, or even both to tears. When he arrived at the house of the Malik's family, everyone was asleep. As usual, he skillfully entered through the, ch uh, through the chimney, which was quite deep. Setting his feet on the ground and glancing into the living room, his mind almost went blank. These people loved sea animals. He tiptoed past drawings, sculptures, towards a giant fish tank. Suddenly he heard a sound and stopped in his tracks to hear if someone was awake. He heard small footsteps and desperately hoped it wasn't the family's youngest son Jake. The fireplace seemed out of reach, so he quickly hid behind the decorated tree. Just before a slim and willowy figure came in and promptly squealed with glee. I know you are here, wise old man, said a voice in an amused tone. The children won't hear you. Come out, I'm alone. When he peeked through the branches, his, his breath hitched in surprise. Could this be a trick to fool him by a clever kid in disguise? Because all he, all he saw, standing in the middle of the room, was a white duck, waiting patiently with a big smirk across the face, what the f- Both confused and curious, he revealed himself and asked while checking the hall, You can speak our language? And I've never seen a duck that tall. Of course I can, but I normally don't show off my skills to humans, that's all. I must admit, every once in a while I can't resist to troll this family, it's too much fun. I whisper in the human quack and leave joke messages signed with my nickname, Ant91. Now that I speak with you, we shouldn't be caught together here. You are right. I'll drop the presents and take all my climbing gear. They waved goodbye, and Santa visited other houses, still in disbelief about who he had met. He didn't want to be seen and left, but had so many open questions, much to his regret. While delivering other gifts, such as a card game which required a travel quite far, he lost himself in thoughts and stared absently at the top card named Nantuko Avatar. A cold snowflake in the face brought back his senses and the next building came in sight. It was located in a beautiful neighborhood, a chain of lights made it, sign sh made it shine so bright. The sleigh landed on soft ground and he could smell the typical maple syrup scent. Some vivid memories reminded him of the great adventures here during the time he had spent. Including that particular year, particular year when a little boy had received this iconic video game, which after decades stood on the list again and was the only reason he came. To bring joy to well-behaved children, but also this cub who must be a fan of the retro style art. Ignoring the modern mainstream consumption and instead wanting that piece of Mario Kart. Not one of the seven others, no, Santa's favorite till this day. He smiled and thought of someone who could happily teach how to play. Finally, the old man slowly returned to his sleigh after having delivered the very last gift. Fed all the tired reindeers and ordered pineapple pizza to celebrate the end of the shift. <laughs>